as JSTAR does. Yeah, so Citadel now going up. So we actually see some pretty delayed tech here from JSTAR. Uh, he only has Dragoons and Zealots up right now without speed, but uh, we can see right here that Hero has climbed all of the tech tree. He's gotten Reavers, he's got Observer, he's got the uh, Templar tech, and it looks like he's set to do a little bit more harassing, but he sees that Observer, he sees the blur of the Observer, and he immediately moves back. So that's what separates a pro gamer, because they just see every single little detail on the screen. And so uh, he's able to save that uh, shuttle from getting killed. And now an expansion going up for JSTAR. Yeah, so JSTAR has got a huge advantage. Uh, 110 supply to 75 supply. But a Dark Templar is coming in here and I don't see any Observer. It uh, doesn't even look like there's an Observer making. So this Dark Templar can actually net a lot of kills because uh, units that die in one hit don't get don't give a warning signal and so now this Dark Templar is killing a lot of probes right here and this Reaver is setting up to distract over here and kill a couple more probes over here uh, making JSTAR move his probes back over or move his army back over here and this Dark Templar already got seven kills seven probe kills very nice harass so far has zero casualties uh, but it has been a very very effective harass this Dark Templar continuing to get kills 10 kills 11 kills Observer is finally here but this Dark Templar has more than done its job. 15 kills, 16 kills, almost 16 kills. And uh, <coughs> that Dark Templar definitely helped a lot in this attack. And now J-Star is actually moving out with his Dragoons. So now Speed Zealot's coming in here. This Reaver's going to help. And he's going to focus fire this Nexus. It's going to be really crucial to get this Nexus. If he gets this Nexus down, he can actually get a chance into this game. Because J-Star has lost a lot of probes right now. Uh, and these... Wow, great move right there, stopping those zealots on the ramp, denying those dragoons from getting back in. And that nexus has been taken out. Really, really great, excellent play from Hero. And Hero is going to be able to crawl his way back into this game. He's got a lot of Templar uh, in his army size. Although it's still meager, he's been able to do a lot of economic damage to J-Star. And overall, it's been very, very, it's probably very, very stressful and annoying when you keep getting dropped and harassed. Um, so it's really gonna put the pressure on JSTAR uh, and JSTAR is gonna be uh, a little bit agitated um, and now another storm drop's gonna go go on over here uh, doesn't look like there's enough probes to storm over there but it gets a good portion of the army that's defending so so far the hero has been doing a very nice job of harassing another storm goes off but does not manage to catch anything uh, and the Templar does get sniped off by that cannon Looks like Hero is going to be set to get another expansion over here sometime soon. And we'll have to see what happens in this game. Still, even though, even with those huge probe losses, uh, Hero still has way, has a very big disadvantage. Um, because l th this army is just really huge, but it looks like Hero is going to decide to push out anyways. He's got those storms. If he can lay a couple of good storms, he will be able to kill this army. Um, there goes one storm on those dragoons. Nice storms. J-Star really has to micro these dragoons. Look like these all these high templar have full energy, so they're going to be very, very effective in dealing lots of damage. And these dragoons actually getting shredded by these storms. Very, very nice storms here by Hero. Reinforcements now coming in though, and I don't know if this attack can work. Uh, lots of dragoons still pumping out, pumping out of those gateways, coming in to reinforce. But another storm, just constant storms, and Reavers still out too. So this this small dragoon force is actually going to get cleaned up. It was actually up to three, it was almost three control groups earlier. But uh, now we see uh, that Hero has been able to reassert his his control. His harass has been able to uh, deal lots of damage to J Star both economically and psychologically and now Hero has the map control and he's got the dominance of the game he's gonna be able to expand now while J Star cannot get his third expansion at this point in time so J Star took heavy losses there and now we see a complete reversal of the game because J Star is now the now he's now the Protoss that is behind in probe count so you can see right now he's continuing to I mean, Hero's been doing harass the whole game. He's been doing great with this harass. It's just been constant harass. 
And because of those Reavers in the back, he's forcing here. Uh, he's forcing J Star to make a decision whether to defend at the front or to go to the back and defend from the harass. And now it looks like he's trying to break out of these bridges. But there's just so many Archons, so many, so many Reavers, uh, and so many Zealots. It's gonna be really, really hard for J Star to break out of this. And J Star's, you know, he's he's taken a huge loss. Um, I mean, he had a huge advantage, but this. Excellent harassment by Hero has really gotten Hero back in this game. And now more harassment coming in. Uh, Templar is going to be dropped. A nice storm. All of those probes. Tons of probes go down. And that Archon and those Zealots are also damaged at the same time. This is giving... This is just giving Hero an absolute great advantage. Even when he's got the advantage, uh, he's still continuing to do all these storm drops. And look at this Templar. It's got 18 kills. What? This is just excellent harass. And that Reaver picks off another High Templar, which is going to make it harder for J-Star to defend. And here comes the units streaming down those bridges. Here we see J-Star. He's going to have to defend from this, but Hero has a lot of units. He's got those Reavers in the back, one Reaver in the back, and lots of Archons, which are going to be able to rip up those Zealots. I'm not sure if uh, J-Star can defend from this. He's got those extra Dragoons, but just look at those. There's too many Archons. And these probes have to get pulled to defend this. Nice Storm goes off. Uh, looks like J-Star actually will be able to defend this, but, oh no, he's actually losing. <laughs> this Reaver is just going to be able to kill everything right here, and more probes go down. J-Star has taken a huge hit to his economy, and GG. What a great game. I did not expect that game to end that way. Um, very, very fantastic game. Uh, Hero was behind the whole game, but J-Star managed... I mean, he was trying to keep his lead, but he made a crucial error in that attack up Hero's ramp because Hero was able to defend from that and thus be able to get his second expansion and get some map control while continuing to do his massive guerrilla warfare, uh, which was really great harass. Um, had lots of great harass that prevented an attack from J Star and made J Star be pressured and have to defend. And what was really, really impressive about his harassment was that these unit, the units from the harasses, actually split up and did, you know, they did attacks on two points at once. So it made it really hard to defend. So really, really nice play by Hero, and able to beat a Protoss that was way ahead of him for the majority of the game. A very surprising ending. I hope you enjoyed this commentary. Uh, I'm not too satisfied with it, but I will be looking to improve the, because I will be doing some more in the future. And so hopefully I'll be able to be more excited. Today it's night time, so I couldn't yell too loud. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed. I will be making some more soon. And um, keep watching. I will improve and try not to stutter so much. I kept forgetting the names. But hopefully you enjoyed the commentary. Thanks for watching, Spearwolf.